Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create and deploy your own Jupyter website using Jupyter Lite. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the Jupyter Lite uh, organization on GitHub and click on this link, create your Jupyter website. So if you don't have one already, you should create a GitHub account that will let you um, use this button right here. So once you are on this page, you click on use this template and what this is going to do is create a new repository under your github account so here you can just give it uh, any name you want so for example my Jupyter website and then you can just click on create repository from template so now this is creating your repository it's uh, uh, putting the same files as on a demo repo and triggering a GitHub action that is going to uh, deploy your Jupyter website to GitHub pages. So one of the things you need to do is go to the settings, pages, and then here click on GitHub actions. And that's it. So now we just need to wait a couple of minutes for the GitHub action to complete, and then we will be able to access the website. So while we wait for the GitHub action to complete, uh, what we can do is create a link to send your users to the website. So you can go here and then start typing HTTPS and then the name, your username, GitHub username, dot github.io slash uh, the name of your repo. So once this is done, you click on save, All right? So we see that now the checkbox uh, here is green, and that means the deploy has completed, and you can click on this link to access the website. So once you're on this page, uh, you can pretty much just open any notebook right, right here. So for example, you can open a Python notebook and start executing some cells here. You can also uh, create a new notebook if you want to and also type some code. For example, import this, execute. And there you have it, the Xenon Python. So that was it. Uh, that was pretty simple and pretty quick uh, to deploy. Uh, if you want to learn more about Jupyter Lite and what you can do with this tool, uh, you can head over to the documentation and there you will find a couple of guides to get you started and also to do more advanced customization. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you, uh, you like this uh, little video. Uh, let us know in the comments if you would like to see more videos uh, like this one. And uh, I will see you later.